Nalubale Hydroelectricity Dam, also known as Owen Falls Power Dam, was commissioned in 1955 as the biggest and the most reliable source of electricity supply for the entire East African region. Interestingly, it was generating 180 megawatts of hydroelectric power and was managed by Uganda Electricity Board. ESCOM Uganda Limited, a subsidiary of ESCOM Enterprises of South Africa, took over its management in 2002. The company's determination to get more life out of the plant has led to massive rehabilitation works costing millions of dollars. From Unit 5 up to 10, we have downstream columns that are under the water. They need to be repaired. So that is one project that we are doing this year. We have already done the designs for it. We have already appointed a contractor to work on strengthening the columns under, underwater. The staircases was moving away from the wall due to the rotation, the movement within the powerhouse. We had to strengthen the column, the, the, the staircases. But can this plant that has for decades suffered from a phenomenon known as the alkali silica reaction or cancer of the concrete in the layman's language run efficiently for a century? Yes, it can. The dam is, is designed for 100 years and the power plant follows the dam. But in that, each and every piece of equipment has a lifespan. Some will be 35 years, some will be 20 years, some will be 15 years. If we look at the control and instrumentation, it will give you 10 to 15 years. What that means is that for you to reach the 100 years, you need to map your plant and all the equipment and understand each piece of equipment, how long can it run. It depends also on the maintenance that you do and how you operate it. The concrete cancer is a harmful swelling reaction that occurs over time in concrete between the highly alkaline cement paste and the reactive amorphous silica found in many common aggregates. There were various studies that were done over the years. It was around the 90s when they started understanding that this is a reaction that is happening in the concrete which is depending on the aggregate and once it gets in contact with water, it expands, then make cracks. The Minister of Energy and Mineral Development, Ruth Nankabirwa, with Okasai Opolot, the State Minister for Energy, recently toured the facility to ascertain its viability and current operations. Currently, ESCOM Uganda Limited operates and maintains the 180 megawatts Nalubale power station and the 200 megawatts Kira power station in Jinja and Buikwe districts, respectively. However, the concession is coming to an end in 2023. Discussions have not started between government and ESCOM. Dennis Sigoa for UBC News.